Hi, I'm Glennis Dwyer and I am a residential counselor for Choices for Youth. My name is Andrew Harvey. I'm the shelter coordinator here at the Young Men's Shelter at Choices for Youth. The shelter is a nine bed emergency housing shelter for 16 to 29 year old male identified individuals or uh, we also are trans inclusive so anyone who was more comfortable at a, a men's shelter we would take them as well too. So first thing we do is we make sure that they're, they're fed and that they have appropriate clothes and things along those lines and then we would go through a basic assessment where we find out a little bit about them and find out what areas they're looking for support in and what any sort of issues we may have that we need to be aware of and kind of yeah just how we can best work with them while they're there and see what their kind of goals are. Usually it's not just one reason it's an accumulation of many. They could be here through because of mental health and addictions, family breakdown, they could have just gotten out of a secure facility, you know, there could be trauma in the home, violence, um, abuse, neglect. Some of our uh, youth are, have been tossed from foster home to foster home. They feel very devalued, very unloved, very unwanted, and they want to make a change. So some of the supports that are available at the shelter that end up working out really well for young people are that there's, there's staff there 24-7. So all of the young people have dealt with some form of trauma, like being homeless is a traumatic event. So a lot of these young people, though, they come with very long, complex histories of trauma. So they finally start feeling safe sometimes. This might have been the only safe housing situation that they've ever been in, potentially. So once they're there, they really feel safe, and sometimes the, that enables them to start talking about things that maybe they haven't talked about before too. So and then based on that we're also able to provide referrals to other services. So if someone does need trauma counseling, someone does need to get connected with a psychiatrist or something along those lines, we can start that with those processes. We provide structure and stability. And everybody needs structure and stability. We eat our meals with the youth. We, that gives us a chance to uh, have a chat and, uh, and, and address any concerns uh, the youth may have or even the staff may have. They, they do chores when they're there, so it's just a little bit of structure. Sometimes they never had that kind of structure in a home, so the fact that there's some very, very few rules in place, we are a low barrier shelter, but there's a few base expectations you have to meet. You have to be respectful to one another there. We do expect them to do a chore. so. Those are life skills teaching that they might have never had. Uh, we instill in them a sense of pride in who they are, a sense of pride in their community. Uh, they, their being homeless does not define who they are. You know, that's just what's happening at the time. 